Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to Brainplosion. In this video, we learn a bit about how strong the force of friction is. But before getting started, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to be notified when I make new videos. So this video idea came from another YouTube video that I saw, I know, hashtag original, where they talked about the Burj Khalifa, the current tallest building in the world, and how it has a really strong foundation because of not only the shape it is, but because of friction. The building has these rods that go deep into the earth, and I'll just save the science talk to them. I'll link it down below. They show a really Really cool example of how strong friction is by interleaving two phone books and trying to separate them with doom buggies. And I thought we should try and recreate this experiment with everyday items you can find in a local store for relatively cheap. So for the first example slash test, I started off with two books that I found at a dollar store that were about the same size and put their pages on top of one another one by one. They were about $2 in total for both, so a dollar each. And then got some rope and some clamps from Walmart. The rope was about $8 and each clamp was about $2.50. I then clamped down the four edges kind of the way the phone books were in the video and then tied the rope to the clamps. If it doesn't make sense right now, it'll make sense in a bit, but the total cost was about $20. But to really, really test this, you know, the strength of friction, you just need two books, which is in this case, just $2 in total. And instead of using doom buggies, we were just gonna use my body. There's no way that doesn't sound weird, but look, I'm a thick boy with not only two C's, but three C's. And if it can withstand the force of doom buggies, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to test this by hanging on it, right? My hair is going crazy. Okay, so I'm first gonna stand on it to see if it can hold my weight, and then I am going to swing on it a bit. It can hold my weight. <gasps> I can't really swing on it, but as you guys can see, like, I'm putting all my weight on it. I suggest you use more than two clamps because if not, you're gonna get something like this. There you go, look, it works! <laughs> the book still stayed intact! <laughs> The second example slash test was my attempt at kind of making a phone book with copy paper. I just had this copy paper lying around, but I think at Walmart it's like $7 for a packet of copy paper. And this took way, way, way longer than the books from the dollar store. So as you guys can see, this is the pieces of paper that I put together, kind of like to simulate a phone book. I don't have a phone book or I can't, I couldn't even find phone books. So this is my little setup that I got going on. I went inside because it started raining outside, but Nonetheless, it's still really, really strong. I got clamps down here because um, it's like loose leaf paper um, and I just wanted them to keep be stuck together. Same thing up here. But um, yeah, as you guys can see, like, look, like this is really, really, really strong and it probably looks really weird on camera. Obviously the more surface area that you have, um, the stronger the force of friction is gonna be, but yeah, it's just crazy. Like this shouldn't, it just looks weird, it just feels weird. Like this should be coming apart in my head, does that make sense? And maybe in your head too, it feels like it should be like pulling apart, but it doesn't. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you guys stuck around until the end, thank you so much. You're the reason these videos get pushed to more and more people. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video and um, I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope this pandemic ends as soon as possible. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.